Welcome to the Single Plane Golf Swing. Play better golf the Mo Norman way. The problem, golf is complicated. Golf has become unnecessarily difficult. Just look at the statistics. The average male score for the past 60 years is 97, 25 over par, and it isn't improving. Less than 1% of all golfers who play can shoot par. $1 billion is spent on the driving range annually. $3.7 billion on golf equipment. Statistics show that most people who take lessons fail to improve even one stroke, and less people are playing the game of golf due to frustration and the time it takes to develop the skills. Over one million people quit playing the game each year. A golf course closes down every 45 minutes in the United States. The question is, can we simplify the game of golf to make it more fun? Can we make golf a more enjoyable experience? I believe we can, because we must understand that one of the problems with golf today is what is being taught. Let's first understand the current state of golf swing instruction. The cause, the conventional golf swing. What is making the game so complicated? I believe it's the conventional golf swing. In the conventional golf swing address position, the arms hang below the shoulders. By hanging the arms below the shoulders, two planes are created, the plane of the arms and the plane of the club shaft. When the conventional golfer swings, the natural forces of the club move around the body. By the time he reaches impact, the two planes have aligned into one plane. This movement of starting on two planes and impacting on one plane is complicated and difficult. The two plane starting position, which I call the one mistake, is actually a spatial problem where the conventional golfer is too close to the ball. Because of this, it makes the swing to impact very complicated. A complex set of movements of the body must occur, including a lifting of the spine and upper back, a straightening of the lead knee and rotation of the lead and trail hip, a lifting of the arms and shoulders, rotations of the trail arm and hand, a lifting of the trail foot. This set of complicated movements to achieve impact is biomechanically complex, can be painful, and for the average golfer, very hard to learn, practice, and repeat, making golf an overly difficult game to master. The conventional golf swing makes one thing very clear. If we are going to simplify ball striking, we must find an easier way to achieve impact, the most important moment in the golf swing. Over 20 years ago, in 1991, I was a professional golfer who decided to improve. In doing so, I sought out the best instructors in the world. After working with these instructors for three years, I had gotten worse. Frustrated at the lack of improvement and difficulty, I quit the game in 1993. I can without a doubt assure you that no one has spent more money on golf instruction than me. Then, as fortune has it, I was introduced to Mo Norman, a reclusive Canadian professional who was regarded as the best ball striker in the world. Mo's golf swing was instantly recognizable. He looked very different and achieved amazing accuracy and results that even the best players in the game recognized. Ken Venturi nicknamed Mo Pipeline for his laser straight accuracy. Lee Trevino said Mo was a genius when it came to playing the game of golf. BJ Singh called Mo God's gift to golf. And Tiger Woods, known for his endless pursuit of swing perfection, claimed that Mo was one of only two players who owned his swing. When I met Mo in 1994, great players knew of Mo Norman, but the average golfer did not. Mo spent most of his life in obscurity. His reclusive personality kept him out of the public until 1995 when he appeared in a 27-page cover story in Golf Digest. As an aspiring professional and Mo's protege, I also appeared in that article. This was the beginning of a 10-year mentorship with the world's greatest ball striker. During this time, I studied, videotaped, interviewed, and practiced with Mo. We played rounds of golf together, and we talked mostly about the game of golf, the swing, and how to be a great ball striker. During my time with Mo, I truly believe that Mo Norman intuitively discovered, through trial and error, an easier way to swing a golf club, and applying the basic principles of his golf swing can help you hit the ball better and have more fun playing the game. In 2004, two months before he passed away, Mo and I discussed the possibility of me carrying on the legacy of his amazing golf swing. This book shares with you the genius of the greatest ball striker the world has ever known. Now let's look at the genius of Mo Norman and compare his swing to the conventional golf swing. As you saw in the conventional golf swing, the arms hang below the shoulders on two planes. Then during the swing, the natural forces lift the club into impact where the club impacts on a higher plane, forcing the body to lift. This higher plane at impact shows a plane through the middle of the back. Looking at Mo's address, 
you can see that he addressed the ball with the club already on a higher plane. This is the same plane that Mo would achieve at impact. We call this addressing and impacting on the same plane, the single plane. The benefits of Mo's single plane swing are that it simplifies impact, is more consistent and easier to repeat, and is easier on the body. In the single plane golf swing, play better golf the Mo Norman way. You will learn the key elements to simplifying your conventional golf swing to the single plane swing. This book will teach you the basic positions and movements of the swing, as well as how you can feel and train these movements with feeling drills. In learning the single plane swing, you will become a more consistent golfer, hitting more fairways and greens, and at the same time reduce stress on your body, so you can feel what Mo Norman called the feeling of greatness.